Hey Libra, what's going on? <sighs> I hope everything is going well. We're going to hop into your reading. See what's happening with you and the person on your mind currently. If this resonates, reson resonates, if this <laughs> resonates, stay tuned. Towards the end of the reading, I'll start getting into what I see happening next. Um, moving forward with you and your person. We got a little, got a little straggler over here. Okay. Feel free to like, leave a comment, subscribe Libra. If this reading resonates, if you do choose to subscribe, make sure you hit the notifications bell. If I said that already, I apologize. Libra. Libra. Could you please show me, George, could you please show me how Libra and their person are moving forward together right now? Okay, so we have guilty. I feel pain from the damage I have caused. Okay, guilty. Hmm. So, I don't know if I've ever gotten this from this card yet. Um, like the hot air balloons. What's that saying about like blowing hot air? There's like some sort of uh, saying. Hold on. I know what I'm talking about. Blowing hot air expression. Let me see. Empty, empty and usual and usually boastful talk. Okay. Yeah, noun, informal, empty, exaggerated, or pretentious talk or writing. Okay. His report on the company's progress was just so much hot air or blowing a bunch of hot air. Okay. So, I feel pain from the damage I have caused. So, maybe there's been something where, I don't know, Libra, interestingly enough, right? We have, a, we have air, right? You're an air sign. Maybe this is involving another air sign. Someone blowing a bunch of hot air. Someone exaggerating. Someone, um, you know saying a bunch of things but not meaning it okay empty talk okay so i've never gotten that before <laughs> when i look at this card but i was i know i'm like why do they have like hot air balloons on here on this guilty card so it's like it's interesting right also too libra you are the sign of the scales the judge all right you also represent like uh you know courts the courts dealing like court dealings okay um, so there could be something here where maybe, you know, Libra, are you rendering like a guilty verdict with somebody, with this person? Okay. Let's see. Clarify someone's feeling guilty, okay, in this connection. Clarify um, Libra's person here. How's this person showing up for Libra right now? Universe or spirit, how's this person showing up for Libra right now? Okay, the whale. This could be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You also have the Phoenix and the Dragon. That's pretty intense. Okay. Speaking of hot air, right, with the Phoenix. Hmm. <laughs> So 
So, whale energy. This is somebody pretty heavy with um, emotion right now, Libra, okay? Now, whoever this is, they could be going through a major awakening right now. And I, I mean, turn this down a bit. This seems pretty, pretty intense. Um, yeah, like just a, uh, some sort of transitional period here, Libra. Um, uh, they, yeah, your person is ex there. There could be some sadness that your person is experiencing here with this whale uh, energy. Um, this could be, you know, involving a parent, a mother figure in particular here. Okay. Libra, maybe this is your, um, oh, I'm getting like the heavy guilt from, um, possibly your person. Okay. With the dragon and the phoenix, Libra, I'm getting, yeah, can be very heavy guilt here from your person's end. Uh, there's like some sort of, I don't know if they feel guilty about something with you or... I need to, I'm going to dive deeper into this, okay? Okay. Obviously, I'm going to pull more cards. That's where I'm getting the guilt from right away, like for right now with the whale spirit. Um, or your person is like slipping back into like whale. It says, you know, can tend to slip back into old story, Libra. If this person seems very like emotionally withdrawn or if they seem like they are just not like opening up at all. It's because they're going through something like, you know, I, like I said, I'm going to pull more cards. But yeah, this person is definitely like, I feel very like, I feel a level um, of emotion. Like I, I get, I'm feeling very emotional, like even picking up on their energy. Okay. Yeah, they're like. When I say awakening, it's like your person is there's there's a new awareness in life right now. OK, there could be some sort of death, uh, rebirth type of energy going on here with who this is. OK, we've got Scorpio energy here with the Phoenix and the water. OK. Yeah, think about, you know, like with the water, the womb. All right. Getting a lot of like mom, mother energy here. Okay, with who this is, Libra. Like they're just needing a moment or something like that. All right. All right, let's see. Um, well, we're already starting off pretty, pretty intense. We're gonna we're gonna come back to the whale. Yeah, there's just a lot of heavy emotion that I'm getting with your person here, Libra. Um, clarify, Libra here. How's Libra showing up for who this is right now? The crow. Well, that's your, your, you are in your element here with air. Um, you even have the tarantula. Uh, so Libra, I see you. There's a couple things. This is a lot. This is a new path, all right? This is you looking towards the future, looking to embark on a new journey here, Libra, all right?
focused on like a new journey. You know, it, it it's interesting because you also have this turtle energy. And I do feel like this is your, here's your water. Okay, so there's a part of you here that does empathize with who this is right now. I mean, if you know that your person, whoever this is, is going through something like with family, um, I see like you, you are empathizing with them with the turtle energy here. Okay. Ah. Uh, Let me see something. So Libra, you show up as ancient soul grounded, trusting at home in the self. Turtle personality, like the beaver, the turtle has a strong relationship with the earth and water elements simultane simultaneously. Um, this helps to ground and connect them to deeper truths of life, no matter where their travels lead them. So uh, Libra, something I'm getting is, um, some of you, you may be at a distance with who this is. And I feel like for uh, a number of you, you could be trying to be like supportive I probably just said that you can be trying to be supportive of this person. And, you know, like I said, if they're going through something, okay. Um, let me see. Yeah, maybe, you know, cause it does say that turtles collect life experiences under their shell, uh, under their shells for later use. So for some of you, you could be trying to, you know, relate to your your whale. I'll call call your person the whale. You could be trying to relate to your whale and um, share with them your experiences and just kind of relate to this person on an emotional level. Some of you are, could be trying to be supportive of who this is and very understanding. If your person does seem withdrawn. Um, a number of you could be, you know, telling your person or you've said to this person, um, you've said to them, you know, hey, I get it. I understand. Um, I, you know, I understand. Okay. Um, so I see that. But I, I do see your primary, you know, focus here, Libra, could also be, it. it's like, again, I'm getting a new journey. I feel what I'm getting with you too, Libra, is a number of you represent a new path or a new start for this person. They are just dealing with something or they feel this sense of guilt maybe about the transition that they're making Libra, especially if it affects, you know, like they're going through some sort of transitional period. And in this transition, your person potentially is uh, moving into a new situation with you, if that makes sense. Like your person is dealing with the past they're coming out of a past situation and, you know, you represent the new path that they're going to go on. Okay. Um, it's interesting though that we still, it's like your person's feeling guilt about it though. That's what I'm getting here, Libra. Like they're feeling a sense of guilt. Okay. And I think you understand that with the turtle. I think you do. But I also feel like this tarantula spirit is you over here, Libra, where um, you have faith that your person is going to make a wise choice and do do the right thing and move forward 
and choose the right path, okay? I think a number of you Libras see your person, you know, like they're they're kind of they're in the thick of it right now. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. You're like, mm, this person's in the thick of it. I'm trying to be there for them. I get it. But you're also focused on, you know, something new here. I am getting that as well, Libra, with the crow. <clears throat> I feel like your person is like a matriarch, whoever this is, Libra, okay? This person is a matriarch. Um, this is probably, like I said, it's a mother, mother figure, something like that. And, you know, she, the will spirit, I'm going to say she because it refers to the divine feminine, but she is a beacon, a beacon of light for uh many people probably whoever this person is people count on your person and so yeah it i am getting this very strongly i don't know how many of you are going to resonate with this but that's what i'm getting with your person it's like this sense of guilt like your person's like i'm sorry i'm i'm stepping into a new life I'm like it's unnecessary though that's what I'm hearing like so many people count on your person here that's what I'm getting she, she's like he or she could be a matriarch okay I, I'm actually getting empress energy for your person Yeah, okay. Clarify um, Libra's person. How's this person showing up here? The Libra, yeah. The Nine of Pentacles. You got the Three of Cups and the Knight of Swords. You even got the Magician. So we got some Gemini. We got some Cancer, okay. Um, Nine of Pentacles. funny that I said I'm getting like Empress energy because the Nine of Pentacles is kind of like, you know, you'll hear other readers probably say it too. It's like pre-Empress energy here for your person. Okay. So yeah, whoever this is, like I said, they probably do well for themselves, Libra. Very attractive. It's Virgo. Okay. Very attractive. Um, yeah. Hold on. It's like there, I feel like this is your person, like almost like stepping into this new era this new version of themselves. But again, I am getting this sense of guilt. Like your person is doing well, but yeah, there's this. Anyway, I, I, I'm gonna, let me, hold on. It's like, just to use this as an example, you got the world in the higher fit. I feel like your person is doing something that's best for them and they feel bad about it. it it's something that's a new, that's a new thing for your, for them. Okay. Especially, like I said, if I'm getting like matriarch and empress, like a lot of people rely on who this is. And, um, so them kind of like looking after themselves and stepping into this new 
you know, like I said, this new era of, of, of them doing what's best for them. There is a sense of guilt that comes with it. That's just what I'm getting here, Libra. Clarify how um, this, how Libra is showing up here. For who this is. How's Libra showing up here for their person? The Ten of Cups. All right. Well, it's a lot of happiness. That's a lot of emotional fulfillment. <laughs> Um, I kind of feel like this is what you're offering who this is and you know that's why over here I feel like you're maintaining a certain vision here, Libra, where you, you know what you want, you know what happiness looks like to you. And I feel like you're, you know, your person over here um, I think you see that that's, I don't know, Libra, I feel like you have this vision in mind of what, you know, it's like a happy family. Um, Getting things started, making some sort of move. I'm just getting all of these like visuals with you, okay? Like you're just thinking about all these things, and and but I feel like you you want it. You want this happiness, this uh, dream, uh, you know, uh, that you have this ideal, this fantasy, or I don't know if it's even fantasy. It's just like. Hold on. This idea of happiness, like that you, you want it with who this is. You're like maintaining that vision. You're maintaining that. You're not letting go of what it is you want in terms of family and love. And, you know, like I said, some of you, this could be your, you know, your partner, your wife, your spouse, your husband, um, the Nine of Pentacles with the whale. It doesn't have to be gender specific. So for you, it's almost like I see you saying like this, Libra, you're kind of like, you're over here and you're like, nope, I know what I want. I'm maintaining the vision. You know that this person right here, let's say this is, let's say this is your partner. You know that they're carrying around some sort of unnecessary, unnecessary guilt or, you know, them thinking that they're supposed to. You know that your person's going through some changes. And for you, I think Libra, you're almost like advocating. You're advocating for your person to make certain changes because you're like, you need, you're telling, it's like you're telling your partner, you need to do what's best for you. I get it. I get that you feel guilty about that, but you need to do what's best for you. And. I think for you right now, Libra, you're just maintaining the vision. You're maintaining, like, you're like, I'm trying to make sense. It's like, if your person feels guilty about wanting to do what's best for them and the family, you're like, well, if that's what you feel guilty about, that's what you feel guilty about. I'm here. I'm going to support you. But you're also over here, Libra, where you're like, I'm also going to maintain the vision of what I want for our family. Okay. 
I think your person is transitioning into a better version of themselves, okay? The best version of themselves yet. There's just this heaviness and guilt that they're needing to let go of. I really hope I'm making sense, Libra, okay? I really do. Clarify um, how this person is showing up. Wow. Coffee cup. <laughs> Meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. Okay. So, you know, some of you, listen, this could resonate in the way of friendship too. Family, like I said, it's, it's going to, this can resonate in a number of ways. It's a love reading, but this can resonate in a number of ways, right? Um... I think this person feels, again, like I, I do get this sense of feeling uplifted by you, Libra, uplifted by the connection with you, okay, for sure. Um, you do have self-indulgence, okay? So look, focusing on the self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. I feel like that's your person, 100%. They are, you know, doing more... I feel like they're doing some healing and I feel like they are focusing on themselves. But again, look, you have mask also for your person, not showing true feelings, hide, pretend, delude, gaslighting. A part of them, I feel, could even be gaslighting themselves like into thinking that there's something bad about what they're doing by looking after themselves. And it's really not. It's not anything bad. Okay. How is Libra showing up here for their person, universe, or spirit? Libra. How is Libra showing up here? Um, rebuilding it does say sabotage it says interrogation but I don't think so it says rebuilding repetitive working on it right you do have um, paradise okay so happiness expansion joyful you know playfulness oneness enjoying each other I, I do think that you and this person genuinely um, enjoy one another Libra Okay, um, remember I said I feel with that turtle spirit like you're there to, to support and that's what I get with the hammer, okay? I think that um, you're there to help. You know, you're there to help your person. I think I see you all having, you know, uplifting conversations. I mean, if this person has any reason to feel guilty about anything pertaining to you, Libra, I even see you like saying to this person kind of like you don't need to feel guilty about that. Okay. Um, I understand. I do. I feel like your person's having like this major awakening. Like if you if you haven't heard from this person, Libra, um, you know, they want to talk to you. They want to tell you like how they're feeling and that they're really coming into a better version of themselves. All right. I think you would be open to rebuilding the connection with who this is. I do. I think you're already open to rebuilding and working on this connection with your person. I feel like a number of you, if this is strictly romantic, there something happened here where maybe there was some sort of disagreement 
and your person feels guilty and they, they have this awareness and they feel guilty about things that they said, you know, with that hot air analogy, they, they, they spoke to you in a pretentious way. You know, they said things to you that were exaggerated. Um, they, 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 the words that they used, they may have been foul or, you know, there was something very empty about the way that they said things to you. They, but the reason why it was empty was because they really didn't mean it. That's what I'm hearing, Libra. Like this person would probably say, I really didn't mean to say those things to you. Okay. And they feel guilty about it. And so, yeah, of course they want to have, they want to come in. They're probably in a better place now. Like, well, they're, you know, they're moving into a better space. Okay. Something has triggered, I'm getting with your person, Libra. Something is triggering them right now. Um, hold on. Yeah. In, in, in this transition, you know, going through this transformation, I do feel like they're going to come out better and they're coming out better. And they're for some, this person's like, I want to, I would feel better if me and Libra were, were able to have a conversation. We're able to talk here. Okay. I'm just giving you different examples of the storylines I'm picking up, Libra. Just allow it to resonate however it resonates for you. It's not meant to confuse you. It's just I'm getting different storylines. For some of you, this is like your partner. Your partner is going through a transition. All right. And they're feeling uplifted by you. All right, coffee cup, literally, and you have the Ten of Cups. Like a lot of you, Libra, you represent emotional fulfillment for who this is. You represent, um, you know, the ideal partner. You represent happiness for who this is, okay? And I do think a number of you would be open to working on this. Fixing things here. Forgiveness. Okay. All right. So I don't know if that resonates, but feel free to like, leave a comment, subscribe. And hit the notifications bell if it does. Okay. All right. So this is what we're going to get into part two of your reading Libra. Okay. Can I get a card for what happens next? How do these two move forward together next? Universe or spirit? How do Libra? All right. <laughs> New chapter. Gossip came out too. I really just want one card. I'm afraid of what other people will think. I feel like that probably is going to apply. I'll take it. <laughs> Gossip and new chapter. I'm trying to move on. I'm afraid of what other people will think. Interesting. How are Libra and their person moving forward together next? Libra and the person on their mind. Libra and the person on their mind. How are these two moving forward together next? Universe or spirit. The four of swords. That's your energy. Okay. It's Jupiter in your sign. And uh, ascending. Okay. Operation and camera, preparing for union, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union is how you all move forward together. That's funny because you have a new chapter. 
Mm, okay. Four of Swords is Jupiter. It's Jupiter in your sign. So Jupiter does have to do with growth and expansion. And it's interesting because expansion is on here. Okay. So there is... Things are... Hold on. There is change. Things are definitely changing and there is, you know, movement, I feel. Um, coming up next in this situation. So we'll see. I'm going to, I'm going to continue this because I'm going to pull more cards. Okay. So we're going to talk about this. We're going to pull the rest of the cards, Libra, for what I see happening next in this connection. Um, what else? I'm going to pull what your person would like with you in this lifetime, what they think will happen with you, pull the outcome I see. We're going to pull from the Time Oracle deck to give you a timeline of when I see real forward movement. And then we're going to pull advice from the Crystal Spirits Oracle deck as well as my cards. So Libra, if you feel like that information will be helpful in this connection, then feel free to join me to watch your extended on Vimeo. The link, like I said, is in the description, top of the comments. All right. And this is where we part ways. I love you guys. Okay. Take it easy, Libra. Be safe. And I will see you soon. Peace.